When you put it on the truck, you want to center it. Have it as far back as you can with the suction cup still on the cab. And then for installation, it's easier if the shield is in the raised position. So you just loosen the thumb screws and wing nuts. and tighten it up again to lock it in place. That it sits on the rubber suction cups so there's no need to drill into your cab or modify your vehicle in any way. Uh, the Dodge Ram quad cab has a smooth cab and there's some trucks that have a ribbed roof and other vehicles that have a ribbed roof. So you can just move the suction cups inward if you need to or wherever it lines up with the ribs on your roof. There's six different width settings. This truck uses the number eight mounting hooks and you can look up which hooks your vehicle uses on the hook application guide right in the back of the instruction sheet. There's a hook application guide with all the vehicles listed. And you can see the most current hook application guide on our website. So first you want to feed the strap through the top of the base, through the slot here. And it comes down through the bottom. Just like so. And then the buckle is on top here. And then you want to slide your hook onto the strap, like that, and then it goes right on top of the upper strip of weather stripping, right over top of there, and there's a metal lip that's underneath here, a solid metal lip, so it's not going anywhere once all four are attached and tightened up securely. So first you take the end of the strap and you feed it up through the middle of the buckle and then you come down from the top through the front slot over there and then you go back up and right through the back slot on the buckle like that. So then all you have to do is tighten them up and put even pressure on all four and the best way to do that is to uh, slide the strap so that the buckle is up top near the base and then you pull down on it, and tighten it right up. And then you pull the extra strap through the buckle. Now that you've tightened it up, uh, what you can do is either tie the extra strap around here, or if you don't want that, then you can just cut the extra strap off like that. And then uh, this frays a little bit, so it's a good idea to just heat it a little bit with an open flame. So there you go, installation's done. If you've done it correctly, your door should open and close with no interference.